We have come into this house to gather in his name to worship him. We have come into this house to gather in his name and worship him. We choose to forgive people who have done us wrong yes. in this hour, God. We choose to worship you, God, in spirit and in truth. And we cannot do that if we've have held animosity and anything in our heart toward our brother or sister. Father, so we choose to walk in love on this day because there's no greater love than that that you have shown unto us that Jesus Christ gave himself on a cross for our sins. And so we thank you, Father, that as we come before you on this day, that, Lord God, we sing the songs that the Holy Spirit says to sing, God, and that we pray the prayers, God, and speak yes. the word that the Holy Spirit desires, because yes. the Holy Spirit knows the will of God, the mind of God, and the things that you're pleased with. Father, we want to do what is pleasing unto you. We want to bring you the reasonable service, O oh God, and we want to do it joyfully in the name of Jesus. And so we give you the praise, Father, for the word, the word, the word. We give you the praise, O oh God, that the songs of Zion go forth then, even now in the name of Jesus, we declare it to be so. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Hallelujah. We thank the Lord. Hallelujah. And so as we're getting ready on today, amen, there's a little something that we got to do. <laughs> that means that the Lord has called us to do some things for him. And so you got to be all ready. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God, because we're going some old school again, but we're going to keep on rolling with it. So there are going to be some songs that some of you, is. you may not know Facebook, you may not know them, but you just keep on hanging in with us. It's A-B-A-B. -A -B. It's A-B-A-B. -A -B. And if there's a C that throws in there, amen, it's A-B-A-B -A -B and then a C. So it's easy to learn. All right. Hallelujah. It says, I'm running for my life. Oh, yes. Yeah.
as soldiers in the army, a soldier is not one that is concerned with things of home. Remember that even when it was uh, Uriah with Bathsheba, that Uriah knew that he was in a battle. And so even when King David tried to convince him to come home and to have relations with his wife, he could not think about her because he knew that he was in a battle. His mind had to be situated on those things. Remember that anybody that goes in the military, I mean, they don't call mama every day because then their mind will be on the things of mama and they won't be on that, hey, I'm out here on a battlefield and I can take the wrong step. And so we've got to be strategic. And the word is telling us, hey, when you run, you're running, you're running this race, and you're running this race with patience. You're running this race, and it's a race of faith, because we've got to go from faith to faith and glory to glory. Amen. We were talking, I mean, just the songs that we're singing, that they are songs that um, we may have not understood the meaning of why we sang them, but we had to keep on singing them because they meant something to somebody. Glory to God. Amen. They had an understanding to write them. When they wrote that song, they knew what was going on. Amen. And we just sang it because it was just in the church. But then we're going to find out that because our message on the day is about you better sing. So we're doing some songs that were written by some folks that are telling us what they had to do. Hallelujah. Amen. Because they had to know that there is a time that you've got to keep on moving on. Now, this is, this is old school. Amen. It says, I'm pressing on. I'm pressing on, striving to reach my heavenly home. I've got a mother there, father there, sister and a brother there. I'm just striving to make it in, just striving to make it in. Oh, I'm pressing on, I'm pressing on. Striving to reach my heavenly home. I've got a mother there, father there, sister and a brother there. I'm just striving to make it in, just striving to make it in. Oh, I'm pressing on, I'm pressing on. Striving to reach my heavenly home. Glory to God. 
God and heaven is my goal each and every day, that means if you stumble, hey, don't you, you just moving out my way because I'm going to keep on pressing. Amen. Some folk give up. Hallelujah. Some folk ain't going all the way with you. But he says, I'll go. I'll go. Uh-huh. 
I'm going all the way. First, I made my decision. I'm going all the way. Oh, I'm going all the way with the Lord. All the way. All the way. I'm going all the way. All the way. I'm going all the way. Oh, yes. I'm going all the way with the Lord. Oh, no turning back, no, no. I'm going all the way. Oh, no turning back. I'm going all the way. No turning, no turning back, no, no. I'm going all the way. I'm going all the way with the Lord. Hallelujah. We're going right into the word, amen, because this is why we have been doing these songs. As I shared with you that on today, the Lord just gave me that message about you better sing. You know how when you're... Um, you have so much, like there's a program, and what I think about a lot of times is uh, when we get into church services that, especially those of, um, I don't to say, African-American cultural things, and you know that there's a girl that they called up on next on the program and say, or a guy they called up next on the program and say, and you know that they have a voice that is very gifted. And so, while they'll call their name out and say, well, we we're going to have a solo by Pastor Gloria Dennis. <laughs> Glory to God. And so people that don't know me, they see I might come up looking like this. And they like, okay, you know, she must be, you know, average because they called us. Obviously, this is Jonesville. So, you know, she's not from New York or Atlanta, Miami, you know, Orlando, no place for their recording contracts at. So she just doing what she do. Okay. So then as I start walking up there, come on, y'all can help me. You you better sing. Better sing. You better sing. Girl. You better see that? now when you start hearing all that, then you start going, huh? <laughs> huh? So then you have an expectation Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. that the person can do like my sister Kia can do. Mm -hmm. They can sign. But if they just say, well, we're going to have a, a, a selection by Pastor Glory Dennis, and people just go clap, 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 and nobody says anything, you're like, oh, uh -oh. <laughs> next on the program, please. <laughs> We're gonna make it through this one really quick, and please don't let them try to extend the song. <laughs> so when we hear you better say, so I'm gonna say next on the program we have Pastor Gloria Dennis of Jonesville, Florida. You better sing it, you better sing it, sing it, sing it, sing it, sing it. Come on, bring it. <laughs> so then I'm gonna be all humble with it. I praise the Lord. I'm so honored that you all invited me here to sing on today and. I was wondering what to sing, and then, you know, you got people in the audience that say, sing anything, because, you know, that's when you know that they just love to sing, otherwise they'll say, when you sing the one that you sound best singing, but when you can really sing, they be like, woo, anything come out, you was all right with us, and so, you know, so so what we're getting ready for today, the word, the word is from the Lord, so, you know, anything coming from the Lord is all right with me, Amen. may not, you know, may not be, amen, the flavor that I was expecting, but it's it's gonna do what it need to do because I'll I'll remember you know when it goes through my system it's gonna still accomplish that that I needed to do even if I didn't know that I needed that nourishment you know Amen. that's like when your body craves strawberries and you didn't know like why do I want strawberries but the spirit knows that strawberries has some special nutrients that's in right. it that your body needs that's right like what okay so now 
because you know I was called up on program to sing. <laughs> Woo! Must be something that somebody must put a special request in to have me sing. Amen. Glory to God. And so I get there. Ah, oh, Holy Spirit, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Because when I used to get there, we like, well, and now I want to be in worship because the song that I that I left the house thinking that I was going to sing may not be the one that the Holy Spirit needs me to sing now because I just didn't feel it in my spirit. So I'm going to hold on a minute. Just come on, we worship you. Thank you, Lord. And then if it had not been for the Lord, who was on my side? Tell me where would I be? If it had not been for who was on my side, tell me where would I be? And that's how that song, if it had not been for the Lord on my side, tell me where would I be? Where would I be? You Come on here. Hallelujah. And that's what it is. Just minister, allowing the Lord to, hey, you got to think about this thing. You got to think about this thing. Where was my side? It was written, these are called P-S-A-L-Ms because they are songs. They are a testimony Amen. of what he's been right. going through. And he began to put it to music and he played that heart. And so what happened is the key verse that was going to be coming from here. It's over in Psalm 137. Psalm 137, and I believe that's around verse 4. And we're going to start with, um, we'll start with a little bit. But Psalm 137 verse 4 says, and this is the New Living Translation version. But how can we sing the songs of the Lord while in a foreign land? That's our key verse. Mm. How can we sing the songs of the Lord in a foreign land? And the response is, you better sing. <laughs> you better sing. So what it's talking about here is Psalm 137, beginning with verse 1. Beside the rivers of Babylon, we sat and wept as we thought of Jerusalem. We put away our leaders, hanging them on the branches of the willow trees. For there our captors demanded a song of us. Our tormentors requested a joyful hymn. Sing us one of those songs of Jerusalem. And they said, but how? Can we sing songs of the Lord in a foreign land? Turn over to Psalm 114. And we're going to work this thing. Because we know that there are conditions that happen for why the children of Israel were in Babylon. There were conditions that had happened for why. Uh, people had gone through some of the things that they had gone through. And so Psalm 114 started this out. When the Israelites escaped from Egypt, when the family of Jacob left that foreign land, the land of Judah became God's sanctuary. And Israel became his kingdom. The Red Sea saw them coming and hurried out of their way. The water of the Jordan River turned away. The mountains skipped like rams. The little hills like lambs. What's wrong, Red Sea, that made you hurry out of their way? What happened, Jordan River, that you turned away? Why, mountains, did you skip like rams? Why, little hills, 
like lambs. Tremble, O earth, at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Israel. He turned the rock into pools of water. Yes, springs of water came from solid rock. We're talking now about remembering how the children came up out of Egypt and how the Red Sea parted because the Lord was with them. Remember, he was the cloud by day and the fiery pillow by night. The presence of the Lord was with them. And so everywhere that they moved, whether they thought that they were forsaken, whether they thought that they were in the wilderness, the Lord had never left them nor forsaken them. So even while they were going through, their minds should have been on, I will bless the Lord at all times. Instead of, well, at least when we were in Egypt, we were fed meat. At least when we were there, we had a roof over our heads. At least we had bread and not manna. How can you sing the song of Zion in a strange land? You better sing. <laughs> so what was different for them that What's different for us now? <coughs> We're experiencing things in this strange land because we have people who will say that there is no God. We have people that will say that worshiping is just something we do in and of ourselves. We have people that will say that they're going through and if, if there really was a God, how come I was raped? How come I was abused as a child? They'll have all types of excuses. But if we would just get in that secret place of him to worship him, things will turn out different. What do you mean by that, Pastor Dennis? Because I went from Psalm 114 to Psalm 115. Not to us, O Lord, but to you goes all the glory. Amen. For your unfailing love and faithfulness, why let the nations cry, where is their God? For our God is in the heavens, and he does as he wishes. <laughs> their idols are merely things of silver and gold, shaped by human hands. They cannot talk, though they have mouths. They can't see, even though they have eyes. And he goes on to talk about all the things concerning how they have worshipped idols. But they will do mantras and chants unto these idols when we can sing songs to a living God. Amen. When we sing a song, this is what happened for why they had the question. They were in Babylon. And Babylon said, wait a minute, those songs you sang, they were so cheerful. They were so joyful. But the songs that they remember singing was that they were in cheer and they were in joy because it was during times that they were offering sacrifice and worship unto God in the temple, in their area. And so they would sing certain songs. Like when we would sing a song about give, 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 give it in Jesus' name. When they're giving the offer, we're giving offerings. Mm -hmm. Or we just do, it is blessed out, shake it together, and run it over. Will he give them back to us? They would sing songs concerning what they were doing, which was offering worship unto the Lord. And so they had figured that if they didn't do it, in that place that it couldn't be done. How could they sing with joy when they weren't in the place where they sang with joy? But the songwriter here lets us know that when we get over a little further in scripture where Jesus meets a woman at the well and she says, well, my fathers worship you in the mountains. Jesus said, no longer will you have to worship in the mountains but you worship me in spirit 
and in truth. Because now you understand that worship is not the four walls, but it's in your belly. Springing up in worship to God. And we found that out with the, the COVID-19. We had to get away from saying, well, the only place that I could pray, yeah. the only place that I could receive communion, the Lord's Supper, the only place that I could sing and feel the Spirit of the Lord is when I come in the temple. We had to hunt and search for him while we're driving along in our cars, while we're sitting at the table eating our food, while we were watching a service on television, are listening on the radio. It was foreign to us, but we better sing. We found ourselves captive because there was the enemy placing pestilence and disease in the land. And we found ourselves, quote unquote, captive. And they're wondering, oh, we can stop them from serving God now. We make it alone. That you can't have but so many people in the church or in any building, not just the church. We're making the creep. Only so many people per square foot. You can't even go into the, the, the Dollar General or the Dollar Tree without seeing a line. 15 people on waiting for someone to go in and come out. But when we were going through those situations, you know what the best thing was to do? Start testifying about the goodness of Jesus. Amen. Because ain't everybody around you, they frustrated. You don't know who was depressed, who was oppressed. But oh my goodness, I mean, if I didn't even have anybody on the cell phone, I began to act like I'm just talking to whoever it is and just testifying about the goodness of Jesus. I'm going to sing a song in this strange land. Yes, I was out there in the heat, and it looked like it was taking all day just to get the item that I needed. But I'm going to say, Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Oh, bless the wonderful name of Jesus. Oh, you've been good to me. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah for being my keeper. Thank you, Lord God, for being my healer. Thank you, Lord God, for Psalm 91 of protection being about us. That you bless our going out and you bless our coming in. Father, I just thank you. And Lord, let me just tell you, I'm here to go with somebody and I just have to give a testimony. Didn't he make a way? Didn't he bring me out? Won't he do it? Look what he did this time. Look what he did that time. I can write a song about it. <laughs> He's an old time God. Yes, he is. He's an old time God. Yes, he is. Oh, yes. Well, he may not come when you want him, but he will. Be there right on the time. He's an old time God. Yes, he is. And I say, you better say, honey, what did he do for you? Oh, yes, honey. You mean tell me that they brought you some groceries? Mm -hmm. Thank you. And your credit card company told you that for three months they will postpone your payment and they won't increase your interest rate. Thank you, Jesus. Won't he do it? Girl, give God the glory. Hallelujah. Woo, thank you. I thank you. He made rivers in the desert for the glory to God. And even though I was out there on the concrete, I could still, amen, that somebody would be a little frustrated because of the heat. And I'd just be like, no other name. <laughs> no other name. No other name than the name of Jesus. And it didn't have to be a recorded song. It was my song. No other name. No other name. No other name than the name of Jesus. He is my peace. And they're around there cussing about wondering how the wives take them so long to go in the Dollar Tree and come out so they can go in in the heat. And I'm just out there saying, you better say glory. Because <laughs> I don't need them coming up here shooting up because they get up. No, I carry the gospel of peace in my feet. 
And wherever I go, I'm going to take authority Amen. and I'm going to sing. Hallelujah. I'm going to make sure that I call down peace wow. in the midst of any situation. Amen. Glory to God. Glory. And so whatever is going on, the tormentor is trying to buffet you. You can be in the grocery store and you know that the enemy is trying to aggravate you. Start singing. Amen. We have weapons of our warfare, and they are not carnal, but mighty through God for the pulling down of strongholds. And so what happened was, you might remember this, if you weren't religious. Remember when gospel songs started being played on R&B stations? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, gospel news had R&B, then went back to gospel, went back to R&B. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And somebody be like, well, I would put my broadcast on a secular station. But the thing was, they needed to hear. So even when we had competitions for singing, before the singing of um, Sunday Best and all of that, when they had competitions for singing, you went onto a stage. And it, it was not a church atmosphere. You didn't see Reverend so-and-so and whoever else out there. But you had a platform. Paul said, pray that we have opportunity to preach this gospel. And it did my heart good to see somebody who got up there and said, he made a way. <laughs> When my back was against the wall and it looked like it was over, he made a way. And somebody's child was in that audience who knew about God but did not have the relationship like they needed. But when homeboy walked on the stage <laughs> and they said, sing us a good song. We want to hear your voice. He said, all of this, my voice comes from the Lord. And so I'm going to give him glory. I'm going to sing you a song, but I'm going to worship him in the middle of my song. And so they began to sing the song. And then you know, the anointing fell. I don't know if y'all have watched this before. When they start singing under the anointing and not as men pleasers, but as unto the Lord, you saw folks stop cussing. And start doing this number. Mm -hmm. You saw tears coming down people's eyes in the audience because they sang a song in a strange land. We've got to open our eyes and see the opportunities that are before us. Even if I am down there applying, when they had the storms to happen. And they were giving out, I think it was $300 was what it was giving everybody. It was a $300 food sale card. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. So, you know, we had some folk. And I was like, oh, they're not going to, this is just a generic because of the storm. It's not going to come back and I got to pay taxes on it later. Okay. <laughs> Won't he do it? Thank you, Jesus. And, <laughs> and so, went down there. And you got folks that, you know, some of them, because they asked you, well, what damage have you had? Or whatever, if you lost some food in your freezer, had, you know, you got to rake up something in your yard, you got to pay somebody, whatever you had to do. Hallelujah. However, he had any, how he, any way he needed to bless us, he did. We didn't go out there lying on the application. We went there to get what was being given to us. And then we were able to take that and use it to the glory of God. Because I tell you what, when I sat down with the groceries, mm -hmm. I was feeding the saints Amen. and I was eating myself. And I was telling God, thank you. Amen. And tell them, how, how, tell them about how I was blessed. Amen. Tell them about how I was blessed. But when I was there, I was meeting people who were going through because they were like, oh, you know, this has happened. We've got trees down. Our lights are off. And da, 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 da. Honey. But you were able to take the time out and show them, look, look at how God is making a way. Some governments don't even have the phone or the means by which even if they had the money to supply their people. So we're just grateful that we're in the United States of America and that there is food somewhere that we can buy. Mm -hmm. 
somebody's warehouse could send something. So we began to give him praise. So songs are just not always singing, but it can just be telling mm -hmm. the story. And it becomes a rap. You don't know, like I know. You don't know, like I know. I know I'm gonna come off the cuff with a beat. <laughs> so you don't know what the Lord has done for you. Because you don't know how to open your eyes and see. See, 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 see. S E E. He made a way. He made a way. You're not hungry. Ooh, drop the mic. <laughs> I need it. I need some help. Yeah, I don't need it. <laughs> but you better sing, Gloria. You better sing. You better sing. I don't care what you're going through. Pain may be in your body. But sing. Say, hey, all sick. I go, ooh, Lord. But all sickness is not unto death. Ooh, you know, that pain right there I felt. Father, I thank you. Because there's somebody who their brain is not firing off that you can be touching their foot and they don't even know that you're touching their foot. I'm grateful. I'm just grateful. Sing that song. It may be a strange thing. Sing that song. I know when I was in dialysis, I had to sing. Every time I was in there, I was putting on the tape for the word. I was uh, listening to it over the phone out that there was prophet would be teaching on our, I tell you, the, the, what's good for the gang is good for the goose. We were doing it on our uh, on our uh, Bible teaching line, our guard of heart line, I was playing them things back, letting them go, because I would be in there four hours minimum. I was in the rip, one behind another. Then I would have, I had a friend, Lorraine Burton. She was playing, um, it was some turmoil in that room. And uh, I said, do you mind singing something? And she says, who would know? Because they were there just some cussing and going on. It wasn't the same folks that normally work in that room. And she said, well, let me go get my guitar. She went and got a guitar and put on a one-man concert for me while I was in that dialysis room. And I took my cell phone, turned that thing up as loud as it would go. And the folks stopped cursing and jiving and whatever. Because one of the girls that was in there, she was on, di on dialysis. And she had been in an abusive relationship. And some issues were going on that she, the house that she was in, staying with a brick girl, something was going on with that. She needed peace. Yeah. And so just playing that took her mind off of thinking crazy and wondering where your boyfriend at while he's sitting there on dialysis. <laughs> yeah, that, that thinking crazy stuff because I started saying All right, so this is one of the things he, he does. He goes in verse in uh, Psalm 116, which is, uh, if I did 114, in 115 where it says, for our God is in the heavens that he does as he wishes. Remember that one, one fifteen verses one through three? He goes over to one fifteen in the last part. He says, The dead cannot sing praises to the Lord, for they have gone into the silence of the grave. But we can praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Both now <laughs> and forever. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Then I'll skip 116, Psalm 116, verse 1. I love the Lord because he hears and answers my prayers. Because he bends down and listens. I will pray as long as I have breath. Amen. What do you mean? 
Because we can sing out of prayer. Whatever it is that we're going through, sometimes we can't express it in words, but we can sing a song about it to the Lord. Lord, whatever you're doing in this season, don't do it without me. Don't do it without me. Lord, if you're healing, healing in this season, don't do it without me. Don't do it without me. So even in the doctor's office, I tell you, I tell you, every time I go in there, I think they want to tell you something different. And I'm sitting there going, now wait a minute, now which one of y'all is on payroll here for a commission? I'm like, so I want to tell them, I say, so am I pregnant this time? Tell me. That's the deal. So when my cousin would be like, girl, you need to stop it. I say, well, my goodness, you know, you come in with one thing. I say, you come back out. Because everything, and you know, they got a name for everything. Amen. You, you, get, you get a bump on the side of your lip, that's herpes. You get a bump on your finger, that's herpes. I say, man, I come in. <laughs> I said, I just came in here, you know, because I need to get this prescription refilled. And now, you know, open up, tell me about this and that. And tell me, you want to see, um, am I getting, am I having any problems? No, I'm not having any problems with it. Thank you. <laughs> in Jesus' name. So this is what, and they're like, well, we don't, we don't, no, I don't want to get that test done either. How much it costs? No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. Me and the Lord got this. Hallelujah, because he's protecting me from the danger seen and unseen. And he does, he's telling me, lay hands on my own body and tell this physician, heal yourself. In fact, I spit on it. <laughs> heal yourself in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. So all of these things are going for it because what it's telling, telling us to do now is how to sing songs in a strange land. That singing songs is not just concerning our temple as in the building, but it's this temple. Wherever you are, it is appropriate to give God praise in your own way. In your own way. In your own way. You somebody might be a hymn. Someone else it might be a rap that they make up. But whatever it is, give it to the Lord and worship to Him. And yes, allow them to hear. Yeah, devil, you need to hear this. Because when you thought you had me down, Jesus was picking me up because I was allowing that word to be alive in me. And that word brought me up out of the pit. So on this day, Father, we are praying that we have a you better say attitude. Because the angels are standing there to carry the report back that we took the opportunity to preach the gospel, which is the good news of Jesus Christ. So we thank you, Father, that even if we find ourselves in a situation, God, whether it's in an emergency room, whether it's in a doctor's office, whether it's at the car dealership, I'm still singing. Because I know that my God will deliver. Father, whatever the needs are, we thank you, Lord God, for providing. For you said there is no want to them who fear you. So, Lord, you own the cattle of a thousand. You own us. You own the banks. You own the car lots. Lord God, everything is yours. And you allow us to be stewards over them. So Father, we rebuke now every spirit of usury that tries to oppress your people. And we thank you, Father, that as we testify of your goodness, that Lord God, the hills, 
will lead you like lambs. Father, that the rivers that try to overflow us, that they will have to go back because of the glory of the Lord upon us in our worship. So we lift our voices in song unto you. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. And say maybe, you know, in some areas of our lives, we fail. All that means is repent, get up, and keep running. Keep running. Say, I started growing, and then, you know, I, uh, uh, and you already made one. Amen. And then we feel so <laughs> Where was yoga? Uh, and you know, someone has to correct us about where's your baby? Didn't he work you bring out an that? You gotta know when you're the time and time again. Amen. And so we thank God for that. And if that's you, you or you, just remember you can uh, holler at us here at Shinwork Fellowship. And we will uh, encourage your hearts in the Lord and help to direct you in the place where you need to be in Him because that's what we're here for. We are a ministry that is the, for the discipleship and the development of believers in God through the gospel of Jesus Christ. We believe in evangelism. If you've been sinning, amen, there is a word that will bring you up out of it because his word is spirit and it is life. So the evangelism of sinners and the outreach in our local and international community. So we thank God for what he's doing in the midst of all of us in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We prepare ourselves now in our giving. Hallelujah. The Lord tells us about how we are to give. He instructs <coughs> us. Amen. He instructs us in how to give. Glory to God. And so we just want to be obedient unto him. Hallelujah. Oh, her home. That he's a blessing. I tell you, because during that time when it was storms and the things were going on, I mean, there was a song that the Lord gave me and said, there's a blessing in the storm. And I saw the blessing in the storm. Amen. I saw the blessing in the storm, naturally and spiritually, because I did have the testimony and the song that you can't make me doubt what the Lord is doing in the midst of us. Amen. Hallelujah. So as we're doing our uh, applying ourselves even now, and it's not about you're saying, well, Pastor Gloria Dennis. You know, I'm, I'm here and I'm watching from online and I I don't have means by which to do, you know, whatever, whatever, but I do want to be a blessing to the work of ministry. Amen. There is somebody you know, that you can sow into and do it as a day. This is what I'm doing as unto the Lord. And allow him to direct you. There may be a ministry that's nearby that you can walk to and bring your offering and give him the glory that is due to his name. Amen. We're here the sure work fellowship. So we do take and receive by uh, natural stopping by. And then we also have a uh, cash app, which is a dollar sign SWF 1500. And we have PayPal. And if there are other ways that you would like to give, you just keep contact us. And we do have other means by which you can give in your service unto the Lord, glory to God. So we just know what the Lord says unto us. He says that when we tithe, that he reduces the devour for our sake. He also the windows of heaven for us out of blessing that we don't have room enough to receive. He said that the fruit will not fall to the ground before it reaps what it's supposed to. So when our words are spoken, our words are spoken, that they are spirit and they are life unto us, that they will bring about what it needs to be, that they bring about creative miracles because our God that we serve, he is a miracle worker. So we have to sing that to him so that we know that he, he may can do it because he won't do it except we initiate it with our mouths 
of confessing what it is that's supposed to be done. And that's why their prophecy says nothing happens to earth except to first be revealed by the prophet that he can decree it in the earth. And we thank God for our prophets, both males and females, because it is the Spirit of God which gives them said in some prophets, amen, so some apostles. So we thank God for those that have operated with him and have been obedient to speak what the Lord says to decree so that it will happen on the earth in the right time. And so now, as we do give, we thank God that he promises to bless us. He promises to bless us because we're not doing it tit for tat. We're doing it out of joy. And so, Father, we hold up our offerings unto you today. God, for the joy of the Lord that we have in our giving. And Lord God, it's not, uh, we stand against every right now, God. Any uh, person that is watching that says, hey, it's not enough. Remember the widow who gave her two might. It's the spirit that you do it in. I get more joy, amen, when I see an uh, elderly person that gives me two dollars, knowing that they were on a fixed income. And they had a lady used to say, we turn around just gives to you. It's the heart that we do it in. So we thank God for your heart on today because the Lord loves a cheerful giver. We thank you that he's blessing you exceedingly and abundantly above all that you can ask for the good thing. We thank God that there is no want to you. We thank God that your cupboards are filled and that there is peace in your home. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank God. Hallelujah. Peace in our souls. Peace in our body. July 17th is our National Ice Cream Day. Um, we do have our um, graduates that we thank God for that. We will be getting with uh, a little later. Got Sister Clark uh, making sure that she handles that. And we do thank God that we've had a glorious time. Amen. And the things are a little. I believe those were our two announcements that we would need to make. Um, and we give God praise. We have been you know, standing in the gap. Glory to God for our people. We want to make sure that you do remember to cover your children and yourself in this season. If we're watching the signs of the times, you know, different waves of things happen at different times. We want to make sure that we cover them from not being at events that they should not be at. Sometimes we just need to say, stay home and leave it for all of us. Amen. Hallelujah. And not just with the showers happen, but in the time of the Lord. Hallelujah. So, Father, we thank you now for that wisdom that you are to provide. Lord, we thank you for the peace of uh, being in our homes. We thank you for peace in our finances. We thank you, God, for peace in relationships. Father, we thank you, oh God, for you and our children that are finishing up the school. Oh God, that those that are doing um, some finish up some summer school activities, God, that peace be within their walls, God, that they are able to complete what they need to complete. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 So like people do for cameras, yeah. You do in one spot, and you gotta have the cord and just hit the button. This right. Side. You know what yeah. happened was that my back there, you know, the plug into so I just do what I. Mm. So that's why. I had to, um, well, yeah, we got to get you get an investment and see if they will sell something like that. Right. <laughs> I didn't get my hug because we. What is this called? What is called is. Yeah, Hey Sean! I don't want to show if I can talk. I don't want to show if I can talk. Okay, now we need to. Oh, I got. Oh, no. Hey, y'all, read. I hope you heard me. 